contract. We have as equally patriotic representation in our South Carolina State Senate. Another one of my personal heroes, Senator Lee Bright, has sponsored a bill in the Senate as a companion bill. Senator Bright, we love you, we appreciate you, and we welcome you. I just want to tell you where I stand, and I appreciate you guys being here today. I've heard the, the same argument about nullification, but if I've got to decide between standing with Jefferson and Madison versus standing with uh, Kagan and Ginsburg, I, I know where I belong. And, and Ginsburg has, has gone as far as to say on foreign soil that we don't need to look at our Constitution. We need to look more to world courts and see what the world wants us to do. Kagan, I, who is also on the Supreme Court, the, the, the nine who know everything, Kagan on the Supreme Court has told us that uh, she believes that what Supreme Court justices have decided in the past are, is more important than the Constitution. So I don't think we can let those guys make final decisions on the Constitution for us. If that's the case, then Congress one day could say, we don't need these states. They're causing a lot of trouble. They're having a lot of press conferences and raising a lot of cane and stirring people up. So let's just dissolve them. And then there are conferences in the Supreme Court that say, yeah, that's a good idea. Y'all are finished. Well, let me tell you, that ain't happening. I believe, I believe that our chains are being forged. These IRS agents, they're not friends. They're not here to bring us peace. And we know about those chains being forged, and we know what we had to do the last time they started forging them. They are trying now to come for the guns like I've never seen. They're trying to abuse a tragedy, a national tragedy, to promote an agenda, to deny us our freedom. So what I want to do is I want to use the Tenth Amendment to protect the other amendments. Because if the Tenth Amendment won't protect the Second, we may have to use the Second to protect the Tenth. I saw this sign earlier about Hobby Lobby. God bless Hobby Lobby. Go out there and buy something from Hobby Lobby today. There you go. These folks are being, because of their principles, they're having to stand up the government because these states aren't doing their job. But we're going to try to do our job. Now, I know that we're going to have all these committee here this afternoon, and of course, our nullification bill is not on it. And this nullification bill is going to be put on the shelf unless you guys get the talk radio and the internet turned up. Because if there's one thing that our colleagues understand is 50% plus one. And if they don't get 50% plus one, they don't get to come back. So uh, I don't want to delay too long because you know a lot of times senators, we do talk a little long and I recognize that fact. But there is a difference between power and authority. The federal government may have the power and you know the devil's got the power. But God's got the authority. The states have the authority, and it's time for us to take it back. Thank you, and God bless you.